Hi there! To continue the series of Mastering Speaking, today we are going to address some common mistakes that candidates often make in the IELTS speaking test and will offer solutions to help improve your performance. Mistake number one, overusing filler phrases. Do you like traveling? Um, I think that, you know, traveling is uh, interesting. Filler phrases like um, uh, or you know, can make you sound less confident. Instead of that, you can say, Do you like traveling? Without doubt, traveling is immensely fascinating. Not only does it offer me a chance to recharge my energy, traveling to new places, entering new places, and meeting new people also broadens my horizons. Mistake 2. Repetition. Can you tell me about your hobbies? I like shopping. I really like shopping. Instead of saying, I like shopping, I really like shopping, say, I enjoy shopping. It's a pastime I truly appreciate. Repeating the same words or ideas frequently can indicate a limited vocabulary. Vary your language as below. Can you tell me about your hobbies? Mm, I really enjoy shopping. Not only is it a matter of purchasing new items, it is also, but it is also a chance for me to leisurely enjoy my own company. Mistake 3. Inaccurate information. Had you ever visited a famous landmark. I visited Eiffel Tower last year and it is the, the tallest building in the world. Providing incorrect information harms your credibility. If you don't know, admit it and redirect your response. Instead of making information about a topic you are unfamiliar with, say, I'm not familiar with that topic but I can speak about. Have you ever visited a famous landmark? I'm not familiar with this topic, but I guess I can speak about Eiffel Tower, which I visited last year. It is one of the most iconic landmarks in Paris, which is known for its breathtaking view of the city. Mistake 4. Short responses. Tell me about your favorite holiday destination. I like beaches. Giving brief answers without elaboration can limit your ability to showcase your language skills. You can revise as following. Tell me about your favorite holiday destination. One of my favorite holiday destinations is the beach. Uh, being there allows me to swim, to relax, and to soak myself in the sun. Mistake 5. Overusing formal language. What is your opinion on the benefit of exercise? I am of the opinion that exercise is beneficial. Using overly formal language in every sentence can sound unnatural. You should revise as follow. What is your opinion on the benefits of exercise? Mm, I think that exercise brings benefits not just physically but also mentally. Mistake 6. Lack of paraphrasing. Do you enjoy sports? Yes, I enjoy sports. Paraphrasing or rephrase the examiner's question in your response to demonstrate flexibility with language. Below is the revised answer. Do you enjoy sports? Um, yes, I find engaging in sports very enjoyable and invigorating. Mistake 7. Neglecting to summarize. Describe one memorable trip you've taken. Well, I will tell about my trip to Paris with my friends. We saw the Eiffel Tower and ate good food. After describing a memorable trip, conclude with, in summary, this trip was an unforgettable experience. In part 2, always provide a summary or conclusion at the end of your speech for a complete response. By addressing these common mistakes and implementing with solutions, you can significantly improve your performance in the IELTS speaking test. Remember to practice regularly, receive feedback, and aim for the clear, natural, and well-structured responses to showcase your language proficiency. Good luck!